Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Snook Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, we'll be going over InDesign, a little bit of the basics, and creating a magazine. So, you know, at the end of this video, you'll be able to take away all the basics from InDesign and be able to create pretty much anything that you need to create. So right here, we have, you know, a little layout of uh, the magazine that we'll be creating. Uh, it's nothing, you know, this is not a legit magazine, just for this tutorial. So here's the magazine in a PDF. Uh, you know, nothing special, but, you know, we'll learn how to, you know, set up pages, uh, use text, you know, bring in images, create a mosaic gallery, uh, you know, and just kind of be creative. Pretty much all the tools you need to create your own magazine. So let's go ahead and get started. So, so this is pretty much a basic introduction to InDesign, but like I said, you'll be able to pretty much take away everything that you need to do your own designs in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new magazine. To get started, we'll go up to File, New Document. And the number of pages we need are three. And if you want to change the page size, uh, you can go ahead and adjust that right here. And let's just click OK. And here we are in InDesign. We got three blank pages. So here's the three pages in our layout. And I want to talk about the first page here right now. Uh, technically speaking, this is our cover. Uh, but it also could be our first page for our inside uh, pages. So meaning if you're going to print, uh, this should be the first page of your inside pages, not the cover. Uh, the cover of your magazine will probably have to be in a separate document, but what you need to do is you know confirm with your publishing company or printing company the settings and how uh, they print out the, the magazines. But for this tutorial, since we're just exporting to a PDF, uh, this is going to be our cover technically, and this is going to be our inside pages. So let's go ahead and get started designing our cover page here. And the first thing I want to do is drag down an image. So I'll go up to our rectangle frame tool and I'll click the corner of our document here and just drag it down all the way to the other corner. So we cover the entire page. Then what I want to do is go to my finder and just drag in our image and that will cover up the entire uh, frame here. So it's pretty much our entire page. Now if I click this button up here to fill frame proportionally, it'll basically fit it proportionally to the image. So I kind of want to reposition our image here. So what I'll do is I'll double click our image and you'll kind of see this orange, uh, you know, rectangle outline pop up. That means you're going to actually going to modify the image. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it up a little bit. So if you just click the image once, you'll come up with a blue frame and that will just move the entire image. Whereas if you just double click the image, you'll be moving the actual image that's going outside the frame. So that's something to keep in mind. So what we need to do now is start creating some elements. So I'll go up to the ellipse tool, which is underneath the rectangle tool. And I will hold down all and shift and click and that will keep a perfect circle right in the center. And we just create a circle. Now it did come out as a stroke and we'll fix that. I'm going to go ahead and reposition it by dragging it. And right up here, uh, we have our fill and stroke. Right now, it's selected to stroke only and no fill. So what I'll do is I'll click this arrow and click a blue swatch. And then I'm also going to get rid of the fills by clicking none. And then we have a circle here, but I don't like this color. I want to change this color and have my own custom color. So what I'll do is I'll go over to the uh, color over to the left, the fill. And I can go ahead and kind of just you know, find a color that I like. And click OK. And that's pretty cool. Then what I can do is create some text. So I'll go up to the type tool here and you need to drag out a box. And what I'll do is I'll type, you know, the sun duck guide. And what I'll do is I'll hit Command-A on my keyboard or Control-A on a PC. And it'll select all the text. And I want to hit this All Caps button at the top here, which is a capital TT. It'll make my text all caps. And to change the font, I can click the drop down here and have all my uh, fonts on my computer. And I'm going to use Lato. And I'm going to go ahead, you know, I think regular is just fine. All right. And then I can change the font size by going up to our 12 PT here. And I can click the drop down and I can click 72. That's way too big. <laughs> Try 30. That still might be a little too big. I'll keep it at 24 PT. And I can kind of just position in there how I want it. And I want to change the color of the text. So I'll go back to our type tool. I'll hit T on my keyboard, select all the text, go up to the color up here, and I'll 
click on paper, which is just white. So far, this looks pretty good. I want to create one more type and click over to the type tool. And I'm going to drag a big box here. And, you know, I'm going to type in love. And this is not a real magazine in any way or anything like that. This was just actually this image. I was a poster that I uh, created for uh, this couple here. And they wanted love on it. So I'm just going with that for now. Um, and I want to use a uh, sort of a cursive font. So I'm going to use Madre. And there it is down there. It's really small. So what we need to do is kind of put in our own size. So I'll type in maybe 130. And that's nice and big. Uh, and also, I definitely want to make this white. And then go to our selection tool, and we can just drag this where we want to put it. You know, I could still probably make that a little bit bigger, maybe 140. All right, that should be OK. These little frames are getting kind of annoying to me. So what I'll do is I'll go up to View, uh, Extras, Hide Frame Edges. And yeah, they'll kind of get rid of it a little bit. So we can kind of view these how they are. So I want to make sure I have this text perfectly aligned in the center. So what I'll do is I'll kind of close down this text box just enough where the text is there. And I'll shift click the background. And I'll click on Align Horizontal Centers at the top. And that will center our text right on the background. So this cover looks pretty much done to me. So let's go ahead and move on to our two page spread right here. So what I want to do on the left page is create a title and put our body font. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to duplicate our uh, love text. So all I'll do is go to, up to edit, copy, and then I'll go up to edit, paste. And it'll be right there. So we need to change the color of the text. Uh, so I'll go to the type tool, select all the text, click on the color fill here. And I know my hex code, you can change your own color, but I'm going to use my hex code to change it to the pink that I want. And there it is, text. But what's really cool about InDesign is that you can bring in a Word document or a text document that already has your text in it. And it'll pretty much already be laid out how it's already set up. So what we do is take this text document, bring it in just like a photo, and just bring it to how we want to have it set up. You know, then maybe we can create some spacing between each line. And I'll go up to the AA tool right next to our font at the top. And, you know, 17 should be OK. And then go to VM. I'll bring this down a little bit. Let's drag that down. OK. So pretty much we got a nice little introduction for our magazine here, our title. And now we, on the right page here, I just want to go ahead and create a mosaic gallery. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can drag in each picture individually, but I'm going to go ahead and just use the rectangle frame tools to kind of create the mosaic before we even put the images in so we kind of can create it ahead of time. So how I like to set this type of mosaic gallery up is using the rectangle frame tool. And then I'll just go ahead and start creating a few rectangles how I want my uh, gallery to be set up. And then I'll also put a stroke on it so I can kind of see where the frames are at. And then I'll go ahead and just duplicate this, you know, kind of create, you know, kind of leave a, a gap between each frame so we can have a white border. You know, probably want to, probably a little too large. And then go back to the frame, create like a, a portrait. If the gap's not perfect, you just hit V on your keyboard and use the selection tool to drag in the point to make it the size you need it to be. And this is pretty much how I want to have it. And then what I'm going to do is just select all three of these frames. Uh, copy them and paste them to put them right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just rotate these around so we can have uh, you know, a nice distribution of the photos. And it's not exactly perfect down here, but for the sake of the tutorial, I don't want to waste too much time on making things perfect. So I'm just going to continue to go ahead. All right, so what I'm going to do now is select a frame up here, go up to our folder, and find a photo that I can put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this photo in here. Since obviously this photo is pretty much scaled up, we need to go up to Fill Frame Proportionally. And that will fill the frame exactly how we need it to be. Then I'll click on the second one. And we're just going to go ahead and start filling in the photos. And Fill Frame Proportionally. Go to our Portrait one. Okay. Then continue down to the last three, and these are going to be upside down once I get these in. 
since we rotated these frames uh, 180 degrees, our photo is going to be upside down. So what I'll do is I'll just double click the photo and I'll hold down shift on my keyboard and just flip it over to zero degrees. And just, we'll repeat the same step for the next two frames. And rotate. Uh, let's put that one in there. Okay, and pretty much all our photos are set up and I want to get rid of these strokes. So I'll click and drag a box to select all of our photos here and go to stroke and click none. And that will get rid of all the uh, strokes around our photos. And that's pretty much it. But I want to go ahead and show you how you can create more pages since uh, you never know how many pages you need. So I'll go up to pages right at the top right and click on the create new page button. And we can create two more and add two more to our layout. And I'll show you one last cool thing. Um, you can put the same photo on both pages. So I can go to, uh, you know, bring, maybe bring in a space background to totally ruin the design of this uh, magazine. And I can just click and drag it. And now we have an awesome space background in our, it looks like our photography uh, magazine. So, so now we just made this magazine pretty cool. <laughs> all right, so since you know, I pretty much went through all the basic tools that you need uh, to start creating your own designs and kind of understanding how InDesign works, well, let me show you how to export. And it's really easy. You go up to File, and I'm going to use Adobe PDF Presets, and that's usually always the best option to use since, it's, oh, since they already have some nice presets here, high quality print and smallest file size. And smallest file size is usually good if you're going to upload something to uh, website or you're going to send it to over to email and high quality print is usually for print and I usually always export in high quality print so that's what I'm going to click and I can type this um, awesome mag and click save so it'll bring it up to this next box um, and you can select how many pages you want to export really nothing notable um, in this uh, box here so I'll just click export and it'll take a few moments uh, to export and then you'll be able to see your new PDF all right, so InDesign exported our PDF, and I'm just going to go up to two pages. So we've used in two pages here. Two, okay, and so basically here's our cover. Here's our inside, and this is a two-page spread. So we can view it as single page, and two pages is usually how I view my InDesign documents. And then we have our awesome background here. Yes, so, you know, it could be... Sunday guide, love, have no idea what this could be about. Let's see the inside cover. Okay, you know, it's about, you know, maybe some nice photos about love or whatever, photography. And then space background. Yes, this magazine is awesome. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of our video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you. And also, please drop a like. It really helps me out a lot. And also, please consider subscribing. That's really awesome. And... I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.